Today we're going to be answering a few of your questions. So our first one, if we're just going to jump right in and get started, is can I wear black with brown? The answer is yes. Black and brown are both neutrals, so they go with pretty much everything. One thing I would consider when choosing black and brown is is it going to like be a statement or is it going to look like it was on accident? So if it looks purposely like you did it, then black and brown, you are good. Our second one is, can I make a crop top modest? And that's a little bit tricky because by nature, a crop top is not really all that modest. So you might consider like, is it going to be a temptation hanging in your closet? Are you going to think like that you could just wear it anyway? So um, that's something to consider before you decide to make that purchase. If you do decide to, um, then there's some things we can do, like this shirt that I'm wearing, like a, a white button-up, if you wear that under it so that there's something like popping out, that would work. And you can also go with like a really high-waisted like pencil skirt or skinny jean, that will work too. Our next question is, will I ever find someone who likes me without screaming for the attention of immodesty? And I know this can be really hard when you're like in high school and it seems like that's what everybody else is doing, but they really will. The right guys will care about that and they will like you for you and they will like you because you are modest as well. A quick story about that is I had a friend in college who um, we only ever like became friends, but I would sometimes see him like out and about on the town and one time I was on a date with my now husband and he was on a date too and I saw him the next day at school and I asked him how his date went and he's like, oh it was good but you know, she wasn't dressed very modestly so I'm not going to ask her out again. So I thought that was really interesting that just like like that he had he had made that decision. So definitely the right guys will, um, will be attracted to you for making good choices. What are some cute ways to wear skirts and dresses for school without being overly fancy? Um, this one could be like, just to make it really easy, like if you're wearing a dress, you could just wear it with, I love the sneaker trend right now, I think that just brings everything down a notch. And then as far as skirts, um, I really love chambray shirts, because I think they're like the equivalent to jeans, but you wear them on top, so it makes everything just dress down a little bit, and just um, helps it to not look overly fancy like the look that you're going for. Uh, there was a couple questions about looking stylish and wearing a jacket and it's really cold where you live and how can I look stylish while wearing a jacket. Um, one way is to just buy like a really statement coat, something you know in a bold color because you're going to be wearing it every day. I recently went to Alaska and I seriously froze and I had my like a Columbia it's like a black jacket it was nothing special and so up until that point I would say like oh just be cold it's for fashion sake but I was so glad that I just kind of threw that out the window for that and was able to just be warm and cozy so I would say look for accessories like a cute beanie that you or could change up every day your cute mittens um boots something like that and I would, I would not say to sacrifice warmth for style anymore because I've been there and I was so, so happy that I had a warm jacket. Uh, tips on pattern mixing. You have come to the right place because I love to talk about pattern mixing. So um, there's a few roles that we can consider when we're pattern mixing and the first is like colors. So if we have a blue and white blouse here and we have a blue and white skirt. So these two together make a really great pair because they both have those similar colors. Another thing, I don't know if you can see, but um, our blue and white top is a stripe and stripes are always going to be really classic. So if we pair a classic print with something a little more abstract, like this floral, how it's uh, like embroidered and the lace detail, it's, you know, you can't like replicate that print. That's going to always create a really good pattern mixing and stripes and florals. That's that's a good one too. Um, something else to consider, so here we have stripes again, you're going to learn to love, I, I love stripes. Um, so we can also do cl two classic prints. So even though this, well yeah, I still kind of call that a print even though it's textured because of the polka dot. Um, so we've got our, our polka dot and our stripe, those are always going to look good together. And then this is kind of like, you know, uh, 101 is pairing the 
same colors together and then maybe 102 if you're going with in the same color family. So these are both really warm toned, deep, rich autumn colors. So that's why that works. And then here, just kind of the same idea again, but just a different example. We've got our polka dotted top with our, um, this is like little jugglers on this skirt. So we've got a very traditional classic print with a more abstract print on the bottom. And then we're taking this, the same saturation of color with these. We've got a mustard and then an orange. So they're both have, have quite a bit of saturation to their color. So those are gonna work well together too. What can you wear a red leather jacket with? I love this question because I think you can wear it with just about anything. A red leather jacket is gonna be like a really statement piece, so you might wanna wear something a little more subdued. I think with jeans would be really cute. I love the idea like maybe a black and white full skirt um, just off the top of my head, maybe like some white skinny jeans. I think that'd be really cute. How do you wear white fabric pants without looking like pajamas? Um, this one is like, I think you just kind of go with that vibe. Don't try to fight it by making them overly stuffy. Like I wouldn't necessarily belt anything at your waist. I'd keep it loose where it was like kind of a tunicky top and then either some sandals or like a, a platform wedge. Nowadays, it's hard to find modest clothes that are fashionable and affordable. Where are some go-to places to get clothes? Hmm. I think that if we begin to look at it as a treasure hunt, it becomes a lot more fun. And we, we begin to see that there, we're not restricted by the things that we can buy, but that we can we have so many options. And to be honest, I don't, I mean, I guess I have like a few favorite go-to stores, but I will shop anywhere. And I think that's part of the fun is just like finding different things and putting them together, pairing your expensive pieces with your less expensive pieces and your more fancy things with your more casual things. Those are what is going to create a really interesting outfit. Um, and you know, something to think about because our audience is mostly like younger teenagers, um, is that you're just like experimenting with your style. I would never tell anybody like to not experiment at this age. So I think the stores that have the fast fashions like forever 21, and um, Zara, H&M, those kind that are going to be a little bit less expensive. I think those are really great for teenagers who are just wanting to experiment with their style. Those are some great options there. Um, and the really great thing as far as modesty goes is that it is winter time. So it's easier to find things right now as opposed to in the summertime it gets a little trickier. So we'll have to talk about summertime when it's summertime, but some things that I'm loving right now are like the plaids and the, um, oh, you know, like the hats and sweaters and all those kinds of fun things. For those of you who are just jumping in, our next question is, what shoes do you wear with boot cut pants? Are you, you guys liking the boot cut pant trend? Um, the boot cut pants are a little bit of a wider leg, and so we're gonna wanna wear a little bit wider heel to go with it, like a chunky heel or a boot or a wedge, which brings us to our next question. Are wide-legged jeans with wedge boots a thing right now? And are bell-bottom or wide-legged printed pants a thing too? And so the answer is yes. We're kind of seeing that come back right now. It's a very new trend, and the way that fashion works is like it'll hit like the runways first, and then it'll trickle down to the movie stars and pop stars and people we see on TV. And then it will come to like the fashion bloggers who are like the most trendy of regular people. And then it will hit regular shoppers like us. And so the wedges and boots and wide leg bell bottoms, those are still really like on trend right now. So. I think we're going to see them hit even harder next year as far as like everybody embracing them because I think we're all still loving our skinny jeans right now and that's okay too. If you guys have any questions, feel free to pop them in. We're down to about our last two, how to style gi giant statement pieces. And the way that we do this is a giant statement piece is 
going to like take the show. So we want to be able to let it do that. We don't want to wear anything that's going to compete with it. So let's say we had like a really bold necklace. We would maybe add in like a um, a more simple top underneath or and especially when it comes to jewelry, we're going to do like you're not going to do like a bold necklace and a bold earring and a bold bracelet and a belt, all those things. Um, and then as, as far as like our other statements, like in our clothing, you just want to consider like, let's say you're wearing a sequiny top on the top, then you might just do a more understated skinny jean on the bottom. Or if you're wearing like a really bold printed pant, then you might just go with like a solid color sweater on the top. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me just double check here and oh somebody asked how can you wear black and blue together? I think that's even harder than black and brown but it's doable and black and blue if you're talking about navy those are both neutrals. If you're talking about black and like a powder blue then that'll work too. Black really does go with everything. Um, you just might want a little more, like it say, if you're, so this sweater is blue and you can't see my shoes, but they're orange. So I just wanted a little bit more color. Black would work, but I, you might just want to go something different. Um, and you can also look for other colors that are in that same piece. So if you're wearing like a, you know, a black, printed dress and you're wondering if you can wear blue shoes well is there blue in it then you can probably wear the blue shoes if not I maybe steer clear from the black and the blue just because they're so um, close to each other I think that is all our questions thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to head to our Instagram at MyTimesOfBlossom and we will see you next time. Bye.